Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Needy sisters never learn. They are always trying to shift the blame onto the victims, onto the people who have been hurt by Nidhi Sanji. What am I talking about? Person says here, maturing within the VTuber space is realizing that some of the terminated Nijian livers are not victims. Some of them are obvious manipulative, obviously manipulative, and a lot of fans are blind enough to see it. So the person asks, who are we talking about exactly? Because I can think of only one person. Of course, going back to Selene. And it says S-Girl, which is Selene, of course. More malicious for me. The bird was manipulative, especially with the music video thing. I do believe she was in bad mental state and should have some sympathy. But she was also misleading and hid some things during the whole event. Caused harm both for others. Both can be true. I don't think anything was hidden. Like, they, we saw the information when it came to Selene. That they had gotten previous perms and then it was kind of the rug was pulled underneath them. They were expecting everything. Like they got in perms from the artist and from the producer of Last Cup of Coffee. And then Nidhi Sanji, one day before, was like, nope, can't do it. Because they thought everything was, was going. They had done this before. They had done it in that way before. Things had been done in that way before because EN is very lackadaisical. It's very lazy in the way it does it. Management-wise, I'm talking about not the talents, of course. Whenever I say Nidhi Sanji EN, I mean the the management not the talents management seems to be very lazy they seem to have been very lazy for years and of course when you ex when you have like 10 projects that have gone through through the simple process and then all of a sudden one project gets you know steamrolled and it gets destroyed because i don't know they decided to change it at the last minute that annoys you and that can't frustrating that can be very sad but let's see what people are saying eight months and the ndf still believe manipulative and misleading theory they love to have Doki rent, living rent free in their brains, of course. The sisters, seriously, like what? Must someone lose their life in Niji and then people would wake the F up? Honestly, people were wondering why we hate them. They also effing started S at Hololive subreddit, then we chased them off. We are covered in the news channels and the process repeats. Apparently trying to protect our Ochis is unicorn behavior. When you're trying to protect the space that you love, not in an aggressive way, not in a, a vindictive way, not in an angry way. When you just try to protect it from people coming in and trying to destroy it, I can understand that, whether it be Nidhi Sanji or Hololive, it's not a negative thing. And it says, Hololive itself, the majority just want to be idols. People just cannot get on with the program and understand that. We even try to peacefully support our Hololive girls, but we can't because those god star and Nidhi sisters. Here we go. You know, the only people who use toxicity from yeah, X livers are either people who had a fan of Nidhi Sanji and only get their info from drama tubers or from aunties who are also fans of Hololive Shoujo who are so eager to attack Nidhi Sanji EN. Basically said what mostly Nidhi EN's fans feel, a lot of us are just scared because tons of freaky aunties becoming confident and bullying us every time we open up on how we truly feel. This isn't really the case in this case. It is more them making dumb mistakes. Clear us versus them mentality, like the recent Holo fans versus Nidhi fans drama and the flame of 4chan. I get flamed myself as well for trying to say, yes, fandoms can be very toxic. EN seems to have a very publicly toxic fandom in the sense that they go out there very confident and very confidently say things that are toxic. That is why they get called out so much. I don't see very many Hololive fans going outwardly toxic the way that Niji fans do. And of course, it says being a target of your former employer's lengthy and public termination notice, which hurts the Liver's attempt to maintain an audience and streaming career, makes you a victim, especially when it contains lies. What they're talking about here is the black screen stream that Illyra did when uh, when she was playing Neopets, when Doki slash Selene, who used to be Selene, was playing Neopets. That's one of the big issues. More like a character or how manipulative someone is does not affect whether one is a victim or not. There's no relation. The thinking in the tweet clearly is unsophisticated and immature. You don't have to be a fan to see a Terminator Liver as a victim. Most mainstream commentators during February weren't necessarily fans, like for example, Charlie and others. These people think themselves are on the left, at least liberal, but their thinking is not. It's more conservative than most. Learn from restorative and reformative justice activists. It's sad when people throw out their pre their principles for something like fandom. Clearly, in terms of optics, is it is S. This argument wasn't convincing eight months ago, and it's not convincing now. So yeah, pretty much that's where I'm going to leave this. They're just coping a lot, in my opinion. And they want to continue the victimhood mentality when they themselves have victimized a lot of people. Just like the NBA collab right now, uh, Street Fighter 6, Capcom, and Nidhi Sanji are doing collabs in Japan, of course. 
And this makes sense from a perspective of Capcom wanting to hit the big VTuber agencies, Hololive, Nidisanji, Vispo, etc. in order to get their brand out there more and to more people because a lot of VTubers, of course, are gamers. So that's what they're trying to do. And uh, most of the people here, as you can see, are in some way, shape or form being uh, the Japanese side from what it looks like. Let's take a look at the actual report here. Live streamers dressed in, in fighter costumes will once again take part in the Kapkuji lottery. And this is, uh, it seems very much based on, on JP. And it would make sense that they would have most of their people there, JP. Naraka, Yuika, Salome, um, everybody. Sophie, <clears throat> Rai, Hibari, Kanae, everyone else is there because it is a Jap Japan only, it looks like, collaboration that has merch. This is why they're doing it. They're doing it for merch, tote bags, all, you know, the acrylic uh, keychains, the buttons, that type of stuff is what they're doing. And that is, I mean, it's good for the talents. What sucks is that, like I mentioned before, when, and I've always mentioned it, whenever these things pop up, 2%, that's all they're going to be getting from it. Most of it goes to Niji Sanji. Whether good or bad, whether you see it as good or bad, most of it's going to be going to Niji Sanji. So that is a thing you have to worry about, of course. Classic Niji Sanji, more opportunities for JP while completely disregarding Yen. They pretty much abandoned Yen at this point. Harada already gave the green light. Give us Niji X Tekken collab with Rosami and Vivi and Kurosanji. Anyways, good for them. And here comes Doki Zim shouting my loyal fans and proceeding to power bomb the heck out of her enemies. Yes. This is basically just like the NBA collab where they have... Um, in this case, it's a full-on Japan collab, so you can kind of understand why they're doing more Japanese people in there. But it still does suck for the EN side. As an update for what has happened to Biju, Koseki Biju, which is Bibu, as everyone knows them. They had recently their Kira Kira Koseki, where they became a magical girl. Here is a little bit of it. And there we go. I can only show you a couple seconds of the actual music of it, of course. But there's her becoming the magical girl. And of course, all the, the evil people around that she just clears up. And there's the pebbles. The pebbles are so cute. Oh my God, I need to see this in big. I need to see this in big. I need to make this bigger. Because the pebbles were freaking cute. Holy crap, the pebbles are so cute. And here it is. And these are all the changes that she had. She's like, basically, she's there. She's looking at gems. She loves the gems. And she has her little magical thing that from, from uh, uh, Magical Girls Nodoka and all of them. They have their little whatever bunny looking thing that always makes them magic. And then they, you know, she gets the locket that makes her change into the magical girl. She's looking around trying to help heal hearts and make the pebbles good again. You see the little pebbles right there? It's freaking cute. I'm sorry. It's very freaking cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just finding that way too cute. And there she has her different forms. Let me look at her different forms. This is one of her forms. This is uh, the blue form here, the green form. The, uh, see, she has so many different, they were very creative with this. Holy crap. All her different forms here. And there's her, her transformation. And there's her wand, of course, that she always has. And there's the cute little pebbles. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fangirling over the pebbles. Pebbles look so cute there. Holy crap. That looks like Lapless. Wait. Why does that look like Lapless Darkness? Yes, my dark. Yes, my dark. Yamada, what are you doing? For some reason, I look like Lapless. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> there she goes. Of course, take a look at it. It looks like it's 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 a whole freaking anime. It's a full freaking anime, for goodness sakes. And here you go. Them saying arrangement, mixing, and lyrics by UC. Yeah, UCE. Art animation is Yunarun and Miyu. Thank you so much. And then you have here all the different forms of Bibu. Miu worked, and I worked on Bibu's original art, Yunari. This is all the original art. Very, very cute for all of them. It's even dark Bibu, but it looked like freaking, it looked like Lapless Darkness, I'm sorry. And then you have here, the music video was amazing. You made me, you both made my dreams come true. It was a pleasure to work with you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything, Bibu. You're so kind and brave. I struggle with shyness, but your whole existence gives me a lot of courage to pursue my dreams. And that's what's great about the community. That's what's great about everything that goes on. The original song, it is also put out there, is now for streaming on various platforms. And they put it out as they always do on Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, and Deezer. I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but Deezer, it's, it's, they're all out there. It's all wonderful music. It is wonderful. And it's Ubib. Yes, the backwards of Bibu. Yes, absolutely. Congratulations to Bibu. Congratulations to, um, to Cover for doing what they always do to try to give talents a little bit of their dreams. And in this case, I'm not sure if Cover covered it or 
it was a Bibu project themselves since it's original song usually original songs do get covered by the agency but even if it doesn't she could get a loan from the agency a zero percent interest loan from cover to cover all the expenses and then she just pays it back by getting uh some of her paycheck withheld Callie mentioned it recently they get their paycheck withheld and then like you know 500 bucks a month or whatever it is and that way they pay it back a little bit of a meme or a little bit of a short portion for you guys coefficient who is a big Hololive fan and, you know, the VTuber fan overall, uh, talks about the difference in Hololive and Niji Sanji models in his recent video. This is a short section of it. Let's listen in. The comparison with models between Holo and Niji, it's just so, it's night and day. Night and day. I cannot believe, like, how good and how hard hololive works for their models and it's funny because i feel like that's one of the most important features when it comes to this industry and you can tell that niji definitely lacks in that department and that should be something that they should be improving on and it shows it would show that they care about the talent and they care about the image that's it that's all i'm gonna say and this is just hopefully niji can turn a new leaf in the future and i think that's definitely one of the things that they should improve upon today's video of course i've said that a lot a lot of other people have said that but I have always harped on that. The fact that Hololife seems to do really well, and it, it seems that like he was talking more about 3D in this case, does really well with 3D, and uh, Nidhi Sanji doesn't do so well. Heck, even K9 Kuro, who used to be Mista, says that yes, the one that he used originally in the Mista one was trash. Didn't move very much, didn't have a lot of fluid movement, didn't have anything like that. Uh, I don't blame the artists themselves because sometimes people hit certain walls of what they can know and what they can do. And with all the commissions they have, they may not be able to learn new uh, movements and new things that, for example, Live 2D Cubism, which is the one that they use a lot of times, that one can bring. You can bring a lot of fluid movement, etc. It's a lot of extra work. And when you are pushed hard and pushed way too hard, uh, and way too quickly like in short time spans you're gonna have those moments when you're not gonna be able to do your best it seems like hololive allows their their artists just from my ideas uh, allows their artists a little bit more time and not be pushed so hard to get things done quickly this is a cautionary tale don't do this i mean you can do this you can do what you want with your money of course but don't be like this guy after you get shot down they apparently unironically asked pippa out because, you know, there's some parasocialism that does happen. You can end up liking the person because you spent a lot of time around them and they are being very nice to you. They've been very nice to chat and that kind of stuff. This is the parasocialism that isn't good. Liking your Oshi, following your Oshi, helping your Oshi out is not a bad thing. Uh, I follow a lot of Oshis that I have. Not a bad thing. When you unironically ask them out and push money in front of them to try to get a positive response, that is not good. Don't do that. Please just go, don't, don't go and do that. So she shot him down. She was like, no, I, I'm not looking for anything, etc. cetera. Uh, Paying VTuber $500 to ask him out on a date is not good luck. Not a good look. Someone check on that guy. Someone check on that guy. Poor fella's trying to, tying the noose. Hope he learns his lesson. To respect Pippa for saying what she did. Could have been way worse. She could have went off on him, fit of rage like she has before. She basically, you know, was, was like, no, I don't date anybody that I watch that type of thing. You know, so it says they were never going to date someone in chat, period. Like ever, Pippa just wants to vibe and do her own thing. She's not interested in dating at all. Let the rabbit be happy bunny. Simping is one thing, but it's going too far to say spend 500 bucks. Asking them out is a bit disturbing. Mental state of someone who thinks they had a shot with a VTuber. Probably very unstable. He needs to stick to OnlyFans or Twitch or something because you don't want to ask VTuber outs on, on dates. Yeah, this person, I, I agree that you shouldn't ask a VTuber out on dates. They're a little hard on them, but I do agree. Chromu. It says, the guy who sends Super Chats has been sending me bizarre emails about his crush on Pippa for the last few weeks. He legit sent me his phone number and asked me to give it to her. I don't even respond. He's just talking to himself in my emails about it. I wasn't going to mention it publicly or make fun of him. But seeing this, I think it's too late. He did that to himself. Get well soon. I don't know why he wants me to be the messenger pigeon. It's so goofy. Eddie Mixer says, say yes, but then give him the therapist number. He's too far gone. Send his number to some therapist. That's so effed up. I... Uh, I like you, Chromo, but I would never pick uh, you as a wingman, as you shouldn't. I'm not the love doctor. Someone went full parasocial. This is like the dangerous parasocial. This is like a, this person could become a stalker. I hope they don't. I am not going to prescribe and ascribe their, you know, the horrible things uh, to happen just because this person likes someone else. The bro did lose touch with reality. Get the fun in throwing flirty comments at the VTuber online. But if you're feeling like you're in love, you really you need to get reality checked. Fire interaction with someone is watching their streams and you don't know them. And you can't love them that way. 
uh, you don't really know them. That's what this person's saying here. And that's true, especially a lot of VTubers, especially like Pippa's very real with her chat, but still there's a disconnect. There is a wall that's put between them and chat, or at least it's supposed to be put within them and chat. It's never good. I know that from personal experience, it's never good to have any kind of parasocial with your Oshis or try to do anything with your Oshis. It's never a good idea. I wanted to shout out this creator here, Yarny, the feral VTuber, because they did a couple of things. First, they played Elden Ring with facial expressions, just facial expressions. I don't know how you program this. I am clueless as to this, but they beat Melania with just facial expressions. so good i could i freaking struggle to beat melania with freaking my both my hands and she goes and beats it, it with facial expressions this is insane it's absolutely insane of course she's not talking very much because facial expressions are a thing She's doing it with the great sword with like a big sword so that 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 takes a lot of damage of course but also makes them very slow so i don't know how the heck they they beat her with facial expressions that's insane but what they did now is even crazier she's going to be playing elden ring let me pause this because it started again uh playing elden ring again with just the index fingers the basic movement scheme just a basic movement scheme she's going to be playing elden ring again i believe or somewhere else another game doesn't matter, but she's making it work where she is just doing things with her actual finger movements. Of course, you do that as well when you play a controller, but I don't know how they're going to how this is going to work. I have no clue how this is going to work. And this is very, very innovative. It's very creative. I've never seen someone do this uh, beyond her. Maybe there are a lot of people who do this. Maybe there's a whole community of this, but I haven't seen it. So I wanted to show this to you guys because this is kind of amazing, astounding, whatever you want to call it. It is fucking great. I love it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I always like to give something back to the VTuber community, the indie community out there, people who don't have managers, etc., etc. You know, people that are on my size or smaller or even bigger in some cases. Just want to help the indie VTuber community as much as I can. There's a lot of news, a lot of bad news coming in and out of the community. I want to shine a good positive light, at least at some point, and pay it forward and all that kind of stuff because the community has been great to me. Here's Bolt's the mechanic, a VTuber. Mechanic looking to give your daily nostalgia fix. So here we go. Here's their about me section. Name is Bolts, and I'm a mechanic working hard. My little robot buddy Nuts. Uh, Nuts and Bolts, nice, funny. Uh, here's our garage specializing in fixing and tinkering in retro media. Maybe you can help us test some old GameCube or PlayStation games to see if they still hold up today. Those are always fun. Doing doing retro stuff. I love doing retro stuff myself. It's very fun. And let's take a look at what some of the videos that they have here. They had this one three months ago. It's got a lot of views. Let's see what it's all about. Feel free to follow if you like what you see and be a humble customer of the Nuts and Bolts Garage. I am Bolts the Mechanic, a retro mechanic VTuber, here to spread the good word of retro video games and media preservation. That is the faith that I believe in. Your daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands, Ratchet. Sir, I, I swear, I never... The city's lazy. Hey, yo! There you go. They knew what they were doing. Ratchet and Clack knew exactly what they were doing. But yeah, seems like a fun VTuber to take when, a look at. When they at. first announced that go. they were coming out with like a Silent Hill 2 remake, my first thought was, okay. And that's my first thought too. But um, the acting seems to be pretty bad. But I'm not going to get into that whole thing. But of course, there's Bolts the Mechanic, their YouTube side. So of course, I will link every single one of that in the description below. So you guys can take a good look at it and see what's going on and see if it's something that you enjoy and want to watch. Of course, there's never any requirements to go and watch any of the people that I have here. It's just me showcasing them to see if any of this stuff interests you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.